Yo, Elliot, I have so many ideas that come to mind when it comes to what I want to accomplish. I feel as though it may be too much to attack at the same time. I did the soul goal writing exercises a few times. I still have much that spills out on that page. I guess the root of the issue is confusion as some goals may be related to troll goals and fear of missing out. So this is where we get to stop. One of the lessons commandments in this uh, program is thou shalt stop. And stopping has everything to do with, with being receptive or being able to hear, being open to the revelation that your waking life will give you. Life will give you your path. God will show you your path. But that can't happen if you're busy looking around, trying to find your path. Do you ever get so busy looking for something, right? Like you lose your keys. And I'm like, I'm looking over here. And then you start looking in like dumb places. Like looking under the bed. I'm looking under my water bottle. I'm like frantically looking for my keys, right? Have you ever done that? And then what? guess what happens? You stop and you're like, Phew. and then you can't think about it anymore. You're like, man, all right, forget it. Just forget it for right now. And then you get up and you walk to the kitchen and you're like, oh shit, my keys have been right here the whole time. I spent the past hour tearing this place apart and the keys are right here. Have you ever done that? I know I've done that. I know people do that all the time. That's because you're too frantic. You're too caught up in activity so much so that you can't take action. You're going to hear me talk about action versus activity. And most of what people are doing is activity. Because we have access to so much information, you are bombarded with all different ideas about what you could do. But if you keep looking at all those ideas, you keep thinking about all those ideas, you keep looking all over the place, trying to figure out where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Then guess what? You're going to miss what's right in front of you. And this is why I say, and I know you're new to the program. This is why I often say, do what's in front of you and your path will be revealed. It's a guarantee. It's a guarantee. It might not be what you think it should be. It might not be what you want it to be, but guaranteed your path will show itself right in front of you. This is one of Jesus is saying in the gospel where he says that today's problems is enough for today. Don't go looking to tomorrow. That means do what you need to do today. Do it thoroughly. Do it well and be open to what's next. That's where I would say 90% of you guys who are confused about what you need to do need to do. Stop. Stop everything. Sit down. Shut your mind off. You, some people call it, call it meditation. I call it throning. And if you read uh, David Dita's book, The Way of the Superior Man, he talks about, he doesn't use the word throning. He says, sit still. He says, a man, this is the power that a man has. And we've forgotten this power. He says, sit down, and wait for the spark of inspiration to come. And whatever that is, that's where you get going. So you literally, like sometimes I've had this situation, Jordan Peterson talks about it too, cause he's, 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 he's right when he says this. I'm sitting down sometimes and I have like, I'm a, I'm a nut, I'm a nut. I have piles of books. I have a long list of things that I need to do. And I'm like, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know what to do. I'm here on the ranch right now, right? I want, I got to get put a solar power on my pump. I'm building, I'm planting this orchard. I want to get security cameras. I want to uh, start doing chickens and laying eggs. And there's all these things. There's all these things that I need to do. On top of that, the lawn needs to be mowed and there's a leak in the ceiling. There's all this shit. How am I going to do all of it? So I'm right there with you. I understand, right? This is a little different because you're looking for your path in life, but I'm looking for a path of what do I need to do in my life? Because I got so many damn things to do. It's been incredible these past four months for me because I came in here with all these things that needed to be do. And then I followed my advice that I'm sharing with you right now. Every day I sit still and I wait for the most logical thing for me to do next. The orchard became the next, it became my, one of my first project because it was literally the most obvious, easiest thing for me to do next, right? So just sit there with yourself, look around and ask, so what's the next logical step for you to take? I'm a prepper too, right? So yesterday, here's, here's just another example about how this works in my life so you can see how it works in your life, how it might relate to you in your life. One of the things that I'm lacking on in terms of prepping is communications. 
I need a satellite phone. I need walkie talkies. I need to create a Faraday box so I can put them all in it in case there's a EMP attack. Right. And I, this has been on my mind for months, maybe even a year. Right. But I just have not gotten to it yet. Yesterday I'm sitting and I'm like, okay, I have some time. And I just sat there and I was like, boom, I know exactly what I need to do. I started digging out all the closets. I pulled out all my walkie talk. Look, there it is right there. In fact, so, you know, I'm not mm -hmm. lying. There's all my boxes with all my communication stuff. <laughs> I pulled them out. I was like, now's the time. Now's the time. So that's another thing you got to recognize that you might have all these things on your plate, but there's a time for everything. There's a time for it. You don't have to do everything right away. And don't beat yourself up if you, your ego is telling you you need to get this done, but reality is telling you to get that done. Reality will show you. Nature will show you. God will show you. Life will show you exactly what you need to do next. And like Jesus says, just focus on that. And the next day will take care of himself, take care of itself. So that's my invitation to you. Clear your mind. Stop. Don't beat yourself up. Don't pressure yourself. Don't think you need to do something or that you, or that you, there's some sort of uh, pressure to get anything done or everything done right away. Sit down and ask yourself, what can I do right now, right where I start, because it's staring right at me. It might be, I was talking about Jordan Peterson, but I didn't finish my statement. It might be clean your room. Nine times out of 10, when I'm frustrated about what I need to do next, I start cleaning. You'd be amazed at how cleaning up your environment cleans up the clutter in your mind. I'm shocked. Sometimes I realize I just need to clean. And once I start cleaning, as I'm cleaning, or once I'm clean and I'm sitting in this clean space, I know exactly what I need to do next. You see? So there it is. And as far as the soul goal writing exercise that you're doing, you can continue to do that given this new perspective. The soul goal writing exercise isn't a, it isn't a magical tool that's going to give you what you need. The entire process is getting yourself into a state that allows what needs to be revealed to you to be revealed by fasting, by meditating, by clearing your schedule, by sitting down with a paper and a pen and just allowing the inspiration to come to you, things start to make sense. You start uh, being able to connect the dots. But none of that can happen if you allow yourself to get emotional. Emotional water will destroy all of your mental processes. Do not get emotional about it. Meaning, and I'm, you say fear of missing out. Don't be afraid. Don't be anxious. Don't be worried. Don't beat yourself up. Don't be judgmental to yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Be neutral. Be stoic and allow it to unfold. Dude, hope that helps. I'm done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.